Hi everybody, thanks for watching the video. Today I'm in Paris at the Barcam Bank number no. 7. So it's a day packed with innovation and passionate people. Um, I've got the great pleasure to spend a few moments with Simon Redfern. Hi Simon. Hi. Hi. How right. is it going? Yeah, good, good. Nice to be here. Nice to, great to be in Paris. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful yeah, yeah. city, even yeah. though the weather is not amazing yeah, today, okay. but anyway. Yeah. Uh, Simon, is based in Ge you're based in Germany, That's right. and you're trying, you're, you're trying to push a great project in banking. Mm -hmm. You're an advocate for transparency. That's so right. please tell us more about the Open Bank project. Okay, so the Open Bank project came out of um, ideas um, of wondering how we can target uh, corruption, actually. Because I've been thinking about um, corruption some, yeah, some, some five years ago, and thinking, and I just had this idea of a bank where all the all the transactions are open for everyone to see, kind of <laughs> radical, crazy idea. It's you a touchy-feely topic. Deep, yeah, exactly. Deep breath. Uh, uh, yeah, and since then the the idea has uh, kind of matured and taken these ideas ideas forward, and um, yeah, and then. Uh, yeah, a few years ago, like three years ago or so or more, I was uh, I was in I was in Athens in Greece because mm -hmm. as well as being a computer programmer, I'm also a composer, and I was it's writing an interesting mix. Yeah, interesting mix. Uh, there's quite a lot of programmers, musicians around, I guess. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, I was, so I was in Athens doing the music for a dance piece, and uh, during my breaks, uh, when uh, yeah lunch breaks or whatever, walking around from the theatre, mm -hmm. then I would see yeah have these dogs bark, uh, barking and chasing around and, <laughs> okay. and uh, seeing these, uh, these um, yeah, uh, construction boards, funding boards saying funded by the EU, funded by the EU, funded by the EU. And I thought, oh, that's great, you know. And so I said to the set designer, um, wow, that's great, all this uh, European uh, investment here. Um, uh, and she said, yeah, but Simon, there's so much corruption, you know. Mm. And two years later, so we know what happened in Greece. You know. So I thought, okay, so I really must do something about it and I must use this kind of open, you know, not keeping these ideas like this, but being open about so. So I started to talk about the Open Bank project in, uh, in I, I, to start with in European kind of IT conferences mm -hmm. and, and so on and so forth. Mm. Well, I like the story actually, it's yeah. great. Uh, that's how it all started. Yeah. Uh, transparency, it's a great topic in banking, very, mm. very well, topical, very yeah. current as well. Yeah. Um, the voice of the customer, again, engaging people, giving them more transparency, visibility on yeah. how the money is managed or where the money goes, right? Mm. How much money the bank makes on your behalf as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, but it's complicated. You talked about uh, corruption, you talked about le legislation, regulation. So what's the perception of the, the central authorities and the regulators, for instance, to start with? Then we'll talk mm. about the banks. Mm. Yeah, that's a good. I think that's a good question, and I think that's something. Actually, we're applying for a funding application uh, to, to to look at all these le legal issues. Okay. And, uh, and and it's one of the topics that we will we will research. Um, yeah, if we get this 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 funding. So can you clarify that the funding? So you're gonna in Europe. You're trying to identify partners or people to well, be able well, we, to fund we, that. We, we we have identified some partners, uh, including Bank Civica, and we're applying for an EU uh, EU funding FP7 proposal in the okay. so like a security technical security call. That's the stage you're at at the moment. That's yeah. right. We, yeah, we just uh, we just uh, applied for that funding. We'll find out in April if we get some money from the EU. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Banca Civica, so one of the most transparent banks in the world, mm -hmm. they introduced the civil banking uh, approach like a long time ago, I think 2004. Yeah. So I'm not surprised there. Yeah. You approach them. Yeah. And a few other banks in Germany, like Fidor, AG, so That's they're right. trying to push the boundaries of banking That's right. and be transparent. Web 2.0, <laughs> etc. Cetera, et cetera. Exactly. And in yeah. France, some, some companies are trying as well. Yeah. Uh, so the next step is that funding. Yeah. So maybe you want to find other partners, first of all. So if you're watching that video, Please feel free to get in touch. With yeah, Simon. I mean, I guess uh, I should explain the the, the, the core ideas. I mean, so uh, the the in a in a way, should I do that? Should yeah, I? core idea. Yeah, yeah, and what it is that you then you yeah you're advocating okay. actually. Okay, is it so an API. Is it like how does that look like? Yeah, okay. So I guess it's the Open Bank project is addressing two main areas. Okay, one this kind of corruption, fraud, financial malpractice. We know what what has happened with all this data obfuscation over the last yeah few years. This, massive problem. And secondly, banks are generally not very Web 2.0. So generally they're not like letting uh, people 
uh, write apps against their bank and, and, and so on and so forth. Normally the bank gives the uh, website, maybe a mobile app to their customers. Okay, so what we're saying is uh, implement this uh, open source powered API that, we, that we're developing. You can take the code, you can modify it, it's Apache license, and, and then uh, through that um, you'll have a whole load of application developers who want to develop against this API. Mm -hmm. right? So you give lots of, lots of uh, more applications, lots of choice for your customers, and the customers will like you, and, uh, and because it's open source powered thing, then application developers will like it basically, and it's secure. You know, open source technology is the best way to make a secure uh, platform. Basically. Yeah, security is yeah is a big issue, a source of concerns for banks, as we all know. Yeah. yeah. Um, in France, I mean, fact is that this week there was an announcement from Credit Agricole. Yeah. Uh, launching like an SDK, which is yeah, going yeah. that direction, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just to be very clear, the API you're evangelizing or yeah. you're promoting, yeah. that would be an API usable by any banks that said they could use that as a basis. Exactly. exactly. And then they have to build still like some type of layer to make sure it, it's conf conforming exactly. to their own security. Exactly. So uh, basically, they can uh, they can get the they can get the source code. Yeah. They can ask us or anybody else to to, to modify their internal uh, technology teams can can modify it. They can put it in their data center, yeah. and it just provides a kind of common interface. So it means that if you write a bank if you write a banking app in France, then uh, you can also the developers can also sell that to people who are in America. And it should work against, if an American bank implements the API, it should work there okay. as well. Okay. And you provide the secure API, so that element should be covered there, yeah? And then the banks save time, because they don't have to reinvent the wheel. Exactly. And they can start with that good basis. Exactly. So to do that, yeah, foresee to get some kind of certification, as you said, or some kind of like close relationship with, yeah, regulators, that's... Uh, that's, That's given, no, yes. Yeah. So you're gonna you're working on that at the yeah, moment. Yeah, that's right. Uh, another thing will be to find an ecosystem of people using that API, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the banks themselves, why not? But yeah. the idea is because they can't innovate all the time or they don't have exactly. the time resources. Yeah. They need to find partners, third parties willing to do that. Yeah. Spend the time and share the risk, basically, and then so come up with innovative applications. That's right. How, what's the role of what you do today? I mean, will you start giving or helping banks promote that and find the third parties? Or where do you see yourself actually in, uh, in 12 months time, 18 months when you, uh, you get the funding and it's, it's live? Well, I mean, we're, we're doing a two, uh, two uh, yeah, a multi approach to the, to, the, to, the, to the project. So on the one hand, we're applying for EU funding, okay? But we can't assume that we'll get that. So we're mm -hmm. also, we're also approaching banks. So yesterday we had a very nice meeting with Société Générale here in Paris, and they're okay. interested. And uh, we're we're developing this, the source code ourselves. So if you're a bank, if you're a bank, <laughs> uh, then uh, please please get in touch. And yeah, we want to we want to um, we want to make the banks the centre of this open data. Uh, it's a, it's a good opportunity for for the bank to become. Uh, uh, open data portal, mm -hmm. and it's also good for it's possible for a bank to <clears throat> to allow their customers to share their data more widely. So, say uh, a company could share its financial data with its with its shareholders, or its team, or just its accountants. You know, so maybe all the accountants can get a easily get an app on their iPhone, and they can uh, yeah they can and they and we want to add this idea of commenting uh, on transactions. Uh, and so on and so forth, and uh, specifically, like an an NGO or a mm -hmm. charity mm -hmm. <clears throat> could share its data with the public, you know, with some privacy filters on top, so you don't uh, do, you don't reveal the names of personal people, but maybe you you replace the name of John Brown with software developer or or Jane Smith with marketing uh, something okay. like that. So, <clears throat> so, so then people can uh, raise alerts, fraudulent alerts, or say, hey, you could get better value if you use this supplier, maybe. Okay. You know, that kind of so thing. collectively, I mean, you're like, it's crowdsourcing type of approach. Exactly. People could comment on the transactions and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, to, to what extent it looks like Blippi or, you know, all those uh, software. Um, uh, yeah. Startups trying to give transpa make transactions more transparent yeah. and tweets, for instance, you're, uh, you buy a CD online, boom, you send a tweet, it's visible, people know you've done it. 
what's where That's does right. you where, where do you set in terms of open bank? Mm, I think we want to we want to, to provide a system which uh, banks can adopt at their core. You know, so instead of being a separate system, we mm -hmm. we really want to say, hey, this is this is great this is great secure technology, and and uh, yeah, you can take it and and then and make it part of the bank's system. You know, so. So um, yeah, that's, that's really the difference, I guess. Okay, well, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. When you said potentially you could uh, build an application in France, potentially, yeah. and use that application or another <coughs> financial institution mm -hmm. using it in the U.S., yeah. uh, providing uh, let's assume, and that's what I wish for, yeah. that it's working very well again in 12 or 18 months. That's here. Okay? Yeah. Where where would be the differentiation then from one institution to another? You're dreaming of the trans transparent, like. Um, um, Fraud-free world per se, and then you know what I mean. Or what's yeah. the, is it an? Where's the differentiation? You mean from for a financial institution? Actually. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's always the you know in in mar markets and uh, and competition, it's always the people that adopt first that mm -hmm. that, that make the savings that make uh, that uh, get it dr yeah driving this funny word innovation or whatever but yeah. you know the, those who adopt it first can 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 get some market benefit you know and and i think uh, banks would be uh, yeah have got some they've got some making up to do you know <laughs> uh, and uh, so if the bank that can like show that they want to be, to to push some financial transparency then you know they get some good uh, brownie points for that you know yeah, we're talking brand reputation as well. So uh, to put your money with your, where your mouth is, yeah. you said uh, your customer centric, transparent. Yeah. Well, let's prove it actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, and I think you can open up a whole new different ways of of, of of doing business as well. You know, so if there's yeah, so the original idea is a bank which is completely open. You know, but e even even if you're even if you've got a bank and there are. Uh, like even just ten percent of the clients are supporting some kind of transparency within their within their within their, within their transactions, then those people can communicate and maybe see what people what kind of services people are buying. Mm -hmm. uh, they can maybe suggest other services, you know, and so on and so forth. So, 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 so people want that, you think? People are definitely interested, I think, yeah. I mean, of course there are taboos around financial privacy and all the rest of it, but, you know, if we thought like five years ago that you would you would tweet to the whole world that you're going to the shop to buy a loaf of bread, people would, would, would <laughs> laugh. Or if you said 10 years ago that you could watch video on, on, on a computer screen. I mean, I, when I first saw my first video on YouTube, I was like, <laughs> you know, and now you like I was in the youth hostel this morning uh, in Paris. You know, with all these bunch of young people around, everyone's got a mobile phone at breakfast. Not a, just a mobile phone, a smartphone at breakfast. Yeah, you know, they've got Facebook the King or uh, yeah, exactly. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, it's a fascinating topic, and again, best wishes for the, for Thank the future. You. And Thank uh, you. one of the last things, yeah. maybe I'd like to raise now is yeah. we're talking about opening uh, the bank, right? The uh, financial information somehow. But when you see that in terms of adoption, it's been years that we talked about personal finance management, yeah. PFM tools, right? Yeah. Uh, with the likes of Mint in the US, for yeah. instance, and account yeah. aggregation, which is probably okay. one, just one part of it. Or, yeah. And we're still not there yet, far from it in uh, many countries, especially uh, outside the US. Yeah. Do you see that your project helping that, driving it, or the contrary as well? What's, is there any interaction or it's two separate issues mm. there? Well, I think the beauty of proposing an open source system is that it's easily and widely adoptable, you know. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> you know, because we, we put this source code out there and other people can adopt it and there's no possibility of vend vendor lock-in, mm -hmm. you know. So the bank can you know, take a look and see if they like it, if they don't like it, you know. And uh, so that's one of the, uh, what, that's one of the uh, ways we want to push this uh, wide adoption is from the open source, uh, open source yeah, approach basically. Okay, well, great. Yeah. Das ist wunderbar, yeah? Merci, uh, danke schön. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Simon. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, great, great. Thank you. Thanks.